Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new features and changes rolling out on Windows 11 build 26080 available in the Dev and Canary channels. These improvements are expected to become part of the Windows 11 version 24H2 when it releases during the second half of 2024. Okay, let's dive into the changes for build 26080, but before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. As part of the uh, Copilot changes, Microsoft is adding a new mode that allows you to use the chat bar as an application. So now when you open Copilot and click in the undock button, the Copilot chat bar will transform into a regular application. And here's where I'm going to cheat a little bit because I don't have that mode enabled on my installation, but I can show you a screenshot. And as you can see, the, the app looks like a regular application that you can resize and move around. But if you pay attention, this is basically the web version of Copilot installed as a web app. So what I have right here, it's an example of how that experience will be once it becomes available on Windows 11. Now, if this approach looks familiar, it's because the same thing happened to Cortana. It was first part of the desktop and then it became the app. The real difference here is that Copilot seems to be a feature that is going to stay on Windows 11. Microsoft is also extending the new skills to use Copilot to change more settings on Windows 11. For example, you can now try asking Copilot to turn on narrator, live captions, and other things like turn on battery saver, show the available networks, empty recycle bin, and clean up storage. For example, let's ask to show storage information about this computer. Let's click yes. And as you can see, it not only takes a long time in order to process that information, sometimes the action might not even work. And while I was trying to record this video, I tried most of the new prompts and most of them, they're not working. They're just like pointing to a page on the settings app or Copilot would just write an answer instead of actually executing the uh, the action which tells me that microsoft is still upgrading copilot and at least on my device it is not available however i'm going to leave a link in the video description so you can check out all the new prompts that you can use on your computer and this is not specifically new to build 26080 microsoft is just making available now to insiders on this particular channel. Microsoft is also releasing a Copilot plugin, which again, it is not available on my installation. And that is to connect the chatbot AI with the Power Automate app, which is a tool that automates tasks between different apps and services. And the first integration is going to allow the manipulation of Excel and PDF documents. However, since some of these features are still rolling out gradually, this is one of those things that I have to add to my list that I can't show you on this particular video. On File Explorer, we're not going to find a lot of changes, but when extracting files and encountering conflicts between the source and the destination, you will now have the option to skip or replace the entire operation, as you can see with this option right here. Now, as part of the uh, taskbar improvements, when you open Quick Settings, now we're going to find an option to enable and disable live captions. Now, Microsoft is also updating the animation that you will get right here at the bottom when installing an application or another operation that requires to show a progress bar right here on the icon. So let me just track these files. And this is the new animation. Microsoft is also adding a new unified version of Microsoft Teams for Windows 11 that will replace the work and school version for the application with one experience that allows you to switch between for the different account types. So if you have a work and a school Teams account, you can use this menu right here and you can add the different account and you can switch between the two experiences. This will make it less confusing for users because before we have two similar apps and they were not easy to identify and users will get confused trying to use the service. The new app, the new app remains virtually the same as the previous version, 
but it now includes a redesign notification that will also show the accounts for that specific alert, as you can see it right here on the top. Now let's open the uh, settings app and when we go to accessibility we're now going to find a new page for hearing aids and in here the page is going to house the settings to configure hearing aid devices for machines that support bluetooth le audio of course you're also going to need a hearing aid device that is compatible with this type of bluetooth in order to connect it well microsoft didn't make a note of this page on the official notes the company did talk about this feature coming to windows 11 and from here you will be able to control audio presets ambient sounds and other experience settings now let's go to the printer settings because now when you go to the additional printer settings in addition to the ability to pause print jobs microsoft is setting a new option to rename the printer so you no longer have to do this through control panel. So you can change the uh, printer right here, click save, and that's it. Finally, since my last video, Microsoft also released the Windows 11 build 26063. That particular build didn't include a lot of changes, but it did introduce a new support for Wi-Fi 7. You can check the video description to find a link to my written article discussing the new changes for build 26080 in more detail. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.